Hello and welcome to a brand spanking new Hearts of Iron series. And this time we're going to play some more Road to 56 with Argentina. Um, I want to do something different, something else. I haven't played with Road to 56 for a very long time. And um, yeah, just play with a smaller nation. And some of you might be saying, like, hey, Dim Dim, why are you not playing with Kaiserreich Japan? I just don't like where that campaign is. I don't really want to go to war with the entire world on my own. I don't feel that strong. I might go back at it at some point, but for now, just wanted to do something different. And here we are. So, uh, yeah, Road 56. I have, this has been a long time since I've played it. Really long time. We're going to play with Argentina. Um, yeah, I think what we're going to do is just uh, go to war a lot. See if we can... Uh, Make the United States of uh, South America. Maybe go even further north. Maybe get into a kerfuffle with the US. I don't know. I don't know. This is uh, probably going to be a fairly interesting attempt at um, screwing over myself. All right. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of divisions. I think I'm going to keep the cavalry division. No. There we go. All right. Um... My experience, so when you're fighting with a low-tech country, cavalry is actually not the worst thing in the world. Oh, you're gonna be fucking joking. Huh. Okay. Huh. I think it's... Okay, that's weird. I'll have to check. <laughs> okay. Never mind, nothing happened. Don't pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, right, i just checking in there is some new equipment. It seems like there's some unique equipment in here. Uh, cool. So, this is clearly a borrowed... Not entirely. These DLs are... I haven't heard of them. Alright, cool. Artillery is, um, partially British. And then they seem to go into sort of their own thing. Okay. Cool. Alright. I'm not gonna take a look at Doctor later because I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, so there's been some unique stuff in here. Uh, torpedo bombers. Uh, They changed some stuff up. Cool. Right. Nice. Awesome. These must be have a heavy naval attack then, I guess. Let's see. Murder Patrol 4. 38 compared to 20. Right. But you can't stack stick these on a CV. It hasn't changed. Engineering. Ooh, there is a bit of a change here as well. Awesome. Wow, they seem to have done quite a bit of updating. And then there's, of course, the ETs. Uh, I don't know what it stands for, but... Uh, expanded industry equipment. Okay, whatever. Special redistribution division. Okay, but that's still it's the same. All right, good to know. Nothing changed there much. Um... Uh, Let's see, is there anything, is there a, no, no, there isn't, okay, I'm gonna take a look at that later. For now, I think we're gonna do the standard industry, electronic engineering, and construction. Bit of a boring start, but hey, um, there we go, done that. Don't gonna care much about fighters for now. We just need to get basic infantry up and running. We seem to have a no production of steel, which is a little bit annoying. And we have no f civilian factories. We have, but all, almost all of it is used because of the economic depression. Well, that's uh, certainly fun times. Um, let's get some convoy production. I did actually take a look at naval uh, properly because I just saw some naval ships sitting in between that list. And I was like, what? So we have destroyers, cruisers, battle cruisers, battleships, carriers, submarine. No, that's just a weird looking submarine. But we do have some extra systems here. Cool. 
Do these boost? Just... These are just... Okay, torpedo torpedoes. They don't get added on. Okay, good. Right, focus tree. We have some army reform here. Always fun. Got a navy reform here. This leads to... Hmm. Some tanks. Might be able to go with that heavy tanking. We have... Um, uh, tungsten, so that might actually be a possibility. Take a look at it. Especially if we take our friends as well. We have oil enough. Air Force, Navy, the other way around. Uh, and I, did, I probably should start with that one. And then we have our Infamous. So, wow. Okay, let's start by getting rid of... You know what? This was... No, no, no. I want to start building my economy. And just train the mountain brigades. Get them all five up and running. And deploy them somewhere. So I think our first strike should be at Chile. Seems to be a uh, easy to ta take neighbor, I guess. I don't know. We also gotta take a look at special forces because I might do a couple of changes in them as. Uh, but I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that. I actually, probably have a better idea for that one. Did I just all delete you from the army? In the army. Okay, so I just gonna get you out of there, in there. You out of there, in there. Alright, um. Yeah, cavalry. Uh, it might be useful actually. I'm just not. Okay. Well, just take a second to think. Maybe try to figure out what the fuck you wanna do. Alright, let's so get this guy in here. It's, uh. Eh, it's not the best, but we will have to do regular army. Okay, that makes it fairly clear. You have less reconnaissance. Yeah, I'll, he'll do for now. Then you'll get the mountaineer, because that makes the most sense. And then we'll just get a random dude to do you. Right, and then we'll change the color of this guy to gray. Usually Mountaineers might be dark green, actually, but... Eh. So, gray. The army is going to go green. And cavalry is going to go orange. There we go. That's definitely not the colors I selected, though. And we'll make you a darker green. Like, this is the army. There we go. Right. And now we can select the entire thing here. Just set them on a Chilean border. They should distribute themselves. Go like that. Then our deployment can be put in on those guys. There we go. Things been set up. Always make a save at the start of the game if I... My escape key is not working. Ah, oh, that's an interesting one. Don't know why. So there we go. LP... Argentina. I think you're right about that. Let's run. Bam. Alright, there we go. My escape key generally doesn't work. Wow, that's a bit of a funky bug, but... Oh, none of my keyword fucking short keys seem to work right now. That sometimes happens in Hearts of Iron. I don't know why it is. It just requires a tiny reboot. Uh, stop dropping shit on your floor, upstairs neighbor. I actually did... Forgot some, forget something like the army is set up. Haha, what about a navy? Uh, the navy is not too bad, but. Uh, no, I gotta probably stick you with that harbor anyway. We're gonna convoy raiding here. Our range is shit. Uh, yep, yoink. You do some patrolling here, here, here. You can barely do coastal defense, apparently. It is fairly low skill. Um, as these dudes are, but it's, you know. Alright. So, at some point. That is genuinely annoying. That is genuinely annoying. Alright, uh, I'll figure it out at some point. Just have to. The fact that I need to use hotkeys. I cannot use hotkeys. The bit of hotkeys that I use are unusable, and it makes things weird for me. La Plata. So. Paraguay, 
Chuckle Borel and Chisip that I think that might be yeah so that is literally just if they take these two I will be able to make a more grand nation I actually don't know what the first hit is like so we're gonna go definitely the this one um, so we're gonna move away from democracy um, might have been fun to go here but I I don't know I want to see if I can build a massive, more powerful nation on my own. My space bar isn't working, so stop trying to hit it. Okay, what is in my... Ugh. Uh, that's okay. Eh, could be worse. Ooh, decisions. Um, now, in my experience, manpower is not that often an issue in uh, Road 56, but... Might be this time, because uh, this doesn't look too good, even though we're on volunteer only. Spanish, they're early. Wow. All right. Um, we'll see what we can do. We got some national character things. There might be a way to get that manpower thing under control. Because that's always the big, uh, in my opinion, always the biggest limiting factor is that... Um, Why would I do that? Okay, yeah. That is definitely really good. So you're like, why would you want to lessen the your military factories? Well, gaining a lot more monthly population is pretty good. Let's start with uh, more political power. Free civilian factories. Hey, hey, hey. We finally got that. Um, let's see. We don't really have a base economy to run much off to begin with, but this is kind of what we have to deal with. Um, so yeah, let's just keep rolling and see where we end up. Now we can actually trade for the missing steel, and I'm thinking we're gonna trade with Germany, boost our economy a little bit because we might we might gonna be reliant on working with the Germans, uh, which is never a great thing. Uh, it's it's just. Ooh. The allies rule the waves, so that's always like a bit of a bitch thing. Um, ah, uh, I don't know, yeah, well. It's always gonna look be a interesting thing to look forward to seeing the results of it. Now I'm actually gonna take a short look at, like see, this is getting me some, a lot of things, like claim Uruguay, Cliche. so we're gonna start with Uruguay, okay. And we got militarism. Ah, yes, here are some very good things. Um, we're gonna work together with the Germans, but I don't know if we're gonna join the German faction per se, but I have to take a look at that later. So, we're gonna stop, start at Uruguayan occupation. And then you guys are added in on this dude. There we go. Alright, so Chile is all sort of like, okay, we can relax, it's not as bad anymore. Wow, we up to 50k, 80k, and all of a sudden, are we just, what the hell happened? The depression must have limited our manpower as well. The infamous decade. All right, so. Pause the game. And so we're definitely gonna go that direction, but I'm not gonna go there just yet. I wanna see. Right, see, research slot here, which is fairly another resource slot there. See, that's gonna get me on the, to the road of proper being uh, everything. So, uh, quartermaster general, backroom backstabber, I think. So, definitely gonna get a prince of terror because the non core manpower thing is gonna help in gaining the territory and get some of the manpower out of there. Now, I, I don't. Um, so. What I'm wondering... So first I'm gonna go get the backroom backstab and get more political power. Um, I noticed in the multiplayer game, when the Germany has got a lot of fun new events, especially when they start conquering nations, that they can release them as uh, puppets during the war, which is a fairly powerful thing. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see if they maybe implemented that for other nations as well, because it, it makes occupation during war a lot less 
brutal and a much more um, because certain countries a lot more efficiency in in, in going to war and like see look oh hey we have this this country that we can release now as a puppet it can start doing its own thing and we can start pulling manpower from there sorry it's something i've got done with in the kaiserreich campaign i don't know it just doesn't feel i don't really want to fight against the entire war of the, the entire world i don't know not on my own not on my own that's just um, asking for trouble. At least that's what it feels like. We're getting a crap ton of political power a day, though. Jesus Christ. How much is that? Like two a day? And a base. Um, um, yeah, that's that's impressive in the, in the amount. Right. Um, this is all. I think the Snarker team might be useful. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We don't even have support weapons. We're just still using World War One rifles so let's get that done first um neutrality support interesting that is pretty cool you can stay properly neutral now right uh i guess some more infrastructure now i know infrastructure isn't the most interesting thing to do but i think it might help stability research time i always like research time didn't I break, like, did it, wasn't that, was it India or something? I got, like, instant, re <coughs> sorry, instant research. More political power gained. This is a one that we're going to pick up at some point anyway. Uh, ooh. That's impressive. Uh, okay, but that's, that's not really helping me now. Minus 5%. This is pretty cool. I am going to look and research for now, because I think we're going to stand on our own for a long time. Yeah, that's 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 painful. We don't have the highest stability. No, we have good stability, so I need to find something that's going to give me stability, stability in return. Hmm. Just trying to read through some things. I kind of got the 2% here. Is there anywhere else where I can get, like, stability? Ooh, look at the population. That's also pretty good. Uh, probably gonna go for total equality. You can say whatever you want, want about the Germans, but they had some ideas at the time that were fairly revolutionary. Yeah, but it's weekly stability. That's you're not gonna keep that up for long. It's and for three percent, it's definitely not worth it. Just sorry, I'm just. I know this is taking a nasty ton of time, but it's just trying to find out what we have available to us. Uh, we cannot do that yet. Offense and defense. It's fairly basic. Then we got recruiting, logistics. We got both. Definitely. Yeah, we're gonna get these three. Might plunk into capital ships because. Um, oh, speaking of which. Currently, right now, PDX Con is, as the time of recording this, PDX Con is going on and a new Hearts of Iron expansion got announced. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, flipping heck, I have to. Let's be a minor professional and actually. Uh, it's called Man the Guns and it's about naval. And apparently, you can design your own ships and stuff like that. So, hey, they're finally taking a look at naval combat, which has been broken. As fuck. It's not even funny how broken that is. Um, not gonna pick up the presentary just yet. I think I might get a. Yes, I'm gonna pick up this guy because there is some research there that we still need to do. Um, quite a lot of it, actually. Uh, when we consider that. Like, we're outdated on this list. Chile declared war on Chile. Say what now? Got a Chilean civil war between the democracies and the neutrality. Um, so, Chinese Soviet Republic they war in the Caribbean. Right, I I forgot how much I want to call depth. How much stuff is in this mod? It's amazing. Anyway, um, so considering that these guys are like how strong are these? These have two, two. I think I'm actually gonna see. Can I start f sending volunteers? Oh, I cannot even send. 
can't do anything, really. That's kind of a sad thing. But, uh, let them fight. Let them fight. Uh, war support would be nice, because we don't have any. Um, but we need a lot more world tension for that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. God, we're getting into stuff quick. I might, for shits and giggles, just... Nah, I'm just gonna go for the individual rights after this one. Alright. So partisans, I think, has to do with occupation. I actually never checked that, I'll be honest. How long have you been playing this, this game the most? I think for two years now? Yeah. Yeah, it has been two years. <laughs> Uh, you would always think that I would check out every single detail that there is about this game. Hell no. Why would I do that? Partisans. Let's take a look actually what that is. I think it's the... Um, yeah, it's the guys that are blowing up your shit. So basically with that in place, it's a lot easier for people to blow up my shit. Personal denies act British access to Soviet civil war. That's a white piece. Hmm. Did he actually gain some land? Doesn't look like it, no. So, why Route to 56? Because isn't it just basically vanilla with a little bit of added on to it? Yeah. But I have to be honest, I've been playing a lot of non-vanilla Hearts of Iron lately. Like, not even Hearts of Iron anymore. Uh, and I kind of like it. I'm going to take a look at some of the older mods, see what I have done... Uh, and what I have, what they're bringing to the table. I think it's uh, kind of really fun. Hey, my hotkeys are working all of a sudden. Look, I don't understand how this game works, but it seems to fix that. <laughs> um, so we're getting nice and everything here. We're good here. I don't need resource extraction. So for doctrine, I might go mobile warfare. I. Because I like tanks. I have to see, though. For now, I don't know. Let's get support equipment, actually, up and running. We are a... I wouldn't call ourselves a backwards nation, but we are definitely not here in the modern times. Uh, a dive bomber. Uh, you can just assign to, uh, I don't know, the main army. Right, got a research slot. Very nice. So we are up to date here. I'm not going to look at tanks just yet. I think we need to get something more important first. And we're going to use AA or anti-tank. Anti-tanks has just hard, a little bit of soft attack, but mostly just hard attack. This has a soft attack, a seven hard attack, and three soft. Four soft and more hard. Huh, did they change that around? Four soft, 30 hard. Four soft, 15 hard. Yeah, so... It just doesn't add four and a half, four, so semi-modern anti-air is better. But only has, yeah, you probably get better suited with AT guns anyway. We might run double artillery, but we have artillery. That's the important thing, we don't need that. I don't have a production for fighters. I don't have production for any new equipment to begin with, so it's probably just a good idea to get some uh, more bonuses just run it, roll, rolling out instead of... Anything else? All right. Uh, pioneers. Electronics and radar. And then we get a last research slot. Requires one. Uh, we can maybe get early nukes. I don't know. Uh, industry is important. Ooh. Oh. This one seems like a good bonus to pick up. Yep, we'll do that. And we're going to get military theorists this guy soonish because I want to start working on my land doctrine as well uh, we're looking at production not enough special forces cap oh, okay so the special forces got deployed cool um, train two at a time fill up the army get about 20 of them it's not entirely correct. You know what? I'm going to do this the, the right way. And this is a bit weird, but I need this amount, so... Oh, no, 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 no,
that'll do. Right. The one cavalry is going to be our breakthrough forces. It's going to be a bit of a brutal attack. And I'm going to take a look at special forces as well. To see um, if we want to change something about that. Okay. So, for now, we're not planning on any war-related stuff. Just want to get the research slots. Let's see, what is in here? Oh, this is all so fucking good. Bond of the world. Huh, that's pretty good. This is all just there's so much good shit in here. Wow. Uh, get our military theorists in here. No, we just got a research slot and I'm gonna go into a few wars early on. I think that might be a good one. But this gets us at least onto the road to. Um, basic warfare related things. Um, so. I have to take a look. Because one of them. Research time 2.5%. Definitely gonna go this route because I think having as a country sitting on your own, you need to have everything researched, and we don't have the most research slots to begin with. So we're definitely gonna pick up this one, which is exclusive, but I believe this one, which just has other good stuff. It's mostly construction, factory output, and that kind of stuff. Right, so full on recovery rate's not that bad. It might be a bit early on this one, but. I'm still struggling on my doctrine. I'm gonna go for heavy infantry. So, considering the terrain that we're gonna face, infantry seems a lot more useful, especially special forces. But yeah, gonna have to have to make a decision about that. So, jungle f warfare seems to be a fairly probably a smart invest. Oh wait, no, this is desert infantry. My bad, jungle. Like, can I get a quick overview? How much of this is... There's some forest in here. Let's take a look at special forces, though. Um, okay, we have forest specialists, right? Yeah. They have jungle and river. They've got forest and marsh. This guy's got urban. Just gonna take a look real quick. Seems that 0.3 breakthrough. So they all have roughly the same stats, just it doesn't ever seem to be fairly useless these days. You just use less supply? No. What did I have added onto it? It's suppression. Nope. Higher recovery rate? No training time. What does it that it adds in? Breakthrough. But they all have breakthrough, just our troopers don't have. Okay, so you're not different from. Might be hidden stats. You guys, the only ones that add in heart attack, so. Let's see, same suppression. Yep. HP is the same. Organization is the same. Supply usage is. A little bit higher. But the recovery rate is also shorter. The breakthrough is the same, I believe. No, the breakthrough is higher. This might be actually just the best. Alright, just gonna get them in and just gonna replace the mountaineers with just these shock troopers. Seems really like a fun thing we can do. Right, um, so Japan declare war on China. Well, they have got a bit early. Marco Polo Bridge Incident, Japan declare war on Shanxi. Uh, there's so much interesting shit. Oh my god. We got some radio going on. Unless we're only running on. Uh, don't need that. That could be useful, but not now. Um, this is a bit overkill. I don't know what I'm going to do with Land Doctrine, but I think I'm going to go for Superior Firepower for now. And I might switch to Mobile Warfare in a later stage of the game. But I don't think so. So the reason I would go for Mobile Warfare is also because you could get another 5% recruitable pop out of it. 
But superior firepower seems to be... I don't know. You know what? No. We're gonna go for superior mobile, mobile warfare. It's probably gonna regret this. But for now, I think it's fine. Uh, let's increase factory output. Okay, so we're quickly training and deploying new units. So we're also going quickly through our manpower pool. Let's uh, up this to limited conscription. Alliance on Kwantung Army. That's probably not something related to us. All right, so this should start increasing our manpower pool. All right, Hindenburg disaster. We got our extra research slot, and I need to figure out what the f we're gonna research. Anyway, we got some. We got some. Not the problem. And uh, yeah, let's go for Argentina's destiny. Move away from that filthy, filthy democracy. All right. Ugh. Sneezing. It's terrible sometimes. Ugh. <laughs> Wouldn't it make more sense to... All right, gonna let you do your own thing then. Yep, so this is still increasing every day. That's not much. No, 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 no. It is, it is, it is. It should be. About 0 0.03 is mobilizing per day. There we go. I don't know, it seems about every week or so we get an update, or every... Oh, it's just when you every time you hit about 0.1%. Uh, we have 12 million core pop. That's actually not that high. So, hey, you want to meet playing with a smaller nation? You might not be small in territory size, but we don't have the pop. We're not a... a 12 million population. I don't know how much you have in total. Can I see that? No, but it's probably more than I have. <laughs> Considering you have almost th uh, 300,000 people available, it's definitely more. Okay. Oh my nose. Why does it always do this? Uh, just go for your army offense for now. All right, Spanish Civil War seems to be over, and we are starting our own destiny. So nationalism it is. Woo! Polish Romanian Alliance. So are we going to form La Plata? Is there a reason to form La Plata? So we gain a core, and Falkland Islands are being claimed by us. Well, that's definitely not going to get into trouble. Alright, so, eh, well, fun times ahead, I guess, are, it's gonna be a slow, but for that, we're actually gonna end the episode, I wanna thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next one, have a very good day, bye-bye.